show that the Hayes Code was invented for. Tonight we have a very special guest, Julian Fernandez from Dana Carvey's First Impressions on television. And your hosts, Tom Bauer from The Secret of Mana and Hunter Hunter. Hi guys. Me, Kyle from Chill Screen. Hi guys. And say hello, Michael, our mix master and videographer. Wiki, wiki, wiki. Yo, check it out. Look at that booty. Show me right. the booty. Give me the Strong booty. I want the booty. Start. And Michael, why don't you go ahead and take us to our title? Welcome to Talkies. All right, we're in the newsroom, and Kyle's going to tell us about our dub of the week. What movie are we doing this week, Kyle? Oh, that's right, Michael. Well, we've been in a very festive mood. Christmas is just around the corner, so of course I want to wish all of our viewership a happy Honda days and a terrific t Toyota thon. Uh, and I hope you're all keeping warm and safe out there. Um, so we decided to take a look at a little movie called Santa Claus Conquers the Martians, directed by Nicholas Webster and released in 1964. That's when Walt Disney was alive. <laughs> huh? And now our feature presentation. Special event of the year, a first Kid TV history. I didn't know that <laughs> network was still around. KID TV That's has it. standing by a television group <laughs> in Santa Claus workshop. Hello, kids. Then welcome in just to a few seconds, right. our special correspondent Andy Henderson. That's right, Kids Bob Zero, starring all the hits. Santa Claus himself, direct from the North Pole, <laughs> where at the moment, the temperature oh, is oh, 91 oh, degrees below zero. Is to and now KID TV <laughs> takes you via Telstar, Andy Henderson at the <laughs> yes. North Pole. Yeah. There's a, Santa's a pretty busy are. man, but I'm sure oh, he'd like I to say a few to words to you kids. Save my own house. <laughs> Hello, Santa. Oh, hello, hello son. Santa. Oh, oh, hello, oh. boys and girls. <laughs> oh, it's Andy. You caught me at a very though, busy time. Really well, do you think you'll be ready by Christmas Eve? <laughs> well, we've never disappointed the kids yet. That's what you get for watching kids TV, don't you? Tell me, is it true that this year there's a rumor that you're going to use a rocket sled? <laughs> no, sir. We're going out the good old-fashioned way with my reindeer. Yes, 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 <laughs> Only the dinkiest dinks for Santa Claus. <laughs> mix and odd. I get. I, well, I always can't on it. I get those names mixed up, but the kids now, Santa, know their names. Yes, cocaine. All, all, all cocaine. Yes. Papa, wake up! Wake up! Oh no. Okay, so there's a lot going on here. I believe this is a still from the movie Nicky Robinson. Stand up! Stand oh, wow. up! There's a lot going on here. <laughs> Stand up! Stand he also up! Unlaps. I'm sorry, Chief Key Mercer. Drop off. <laughs> you are the laziest <laughs> man on Mars. Why are so you sleeping during head. working what's hours? What's coming out and what's going in? <laughs> Gandalf the Gray really. will tell you. Yes, it's me, Shazam. Oh, yes. The TV Shazam. And you're Is watching me TV. December, <laughs> Close to the time of the Christmas. This is like... This is That's Ralph Baxley. Uh, what is a gone. Christmas? Same thing. It is an occasion for great joy and peace. Imagine having that much facial hair and still just being dwarfed by the man in front of him with just that kick ass mustache. I was just about to comment on that mustache. I mean, even though it's the 60s, I mean, he pretty much pioneered the porn mustache that like, shows up later in the 70s. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes. Air Force to NORAD, we have located the Santa Claus base. Do we attack? Yes, you no. You don't, huh? What would you do for Marshmallow right credit behind you? <laughs> I scream. Welcome back to KTV. Today's the day that we'll live in. Betty, I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> I Today's the day that we'll live in infamy. Come on, let's go home. Oh, God. Who, who are you? We're from Mars. Don't be afraid. We have children just That's like right. you on Mars. You didn't tip me, the bronze yeah, statue man outside of the regal. Out of your head. <laughs> <laughs> Those are our antenna. No, I'm back uh, from my revision set. Remember when I did this? Whoop, whoop, whoop. Very well made, too. <laughs> Impressive, oh, right? Just, I changed it in just a second. Doug Star. Santa's oh, treating you like a toy. Robot tonight. Get him, oh. Tar. Grab him. He's Those robots are always me. Me, Wigna, Santa. we'll have to get Santa ourselves. I told you I was gonna dress as Loki. <laughs> oh, Mr. What Robot. Here? More toys? Part sequence initiated. <laughs> Santa Claus, Part sequence successful. <laughs> but I found it all right, and I started Buffering. to fall in. <laughs> well, I tell you, no, kids, I'm not the gonna lie to you. I'm really I'd scared, and I'm not in control wow. of And then situation. suddenly, wow. suddenly <laughs> I realized it wasn't a chimney at all. It was the smokestack of the Queen Elizabeth. You guys ever you guys you guys ever try absolutely? <laughs> Santa's got an old jug of moonshine somewhere. Well, why don't you laugh? If you're looking to get a little yeah, naughty. It's all our fault. We told them where to find you. <laughs> oh, no. oh, Boulder Dash and a fiddle dee dee, Philly boy. Everybody knows where Santa lives. You'll never catch me, Hans. Besides, <laughs> I've always wanted the business to get going and have See, the toy shop operating full blast. So as I uh -huh. can return to Earth for Christmas, <laughs> you know, Mrs. Claus <laughs> is a very good natured woman. Wait, but Santa Claus, there, <laughs> you will never return to Earth. Classic so, anime, classic. <laughs> now classic. you belong to Mars. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Please, hold on. I, I started doing the game. I got my ass right Oh, jeez. <laughs> With his hat and his cape, I'll look just like St. Nick. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Max! Now I'm Santa Claus! Ho, ho, ho! Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas! <laughs> <laughs> My finger isn't tired. I think I'll go down to the workshop and make some more I mean, toys. We're, we're talking about. I'm transfixed. I mean, like, I have never seen a hat wear a hat while wearing a Bruce Lee. Talk about a hat on a hat. No kidding. On a purpose. That's some of that crazy fucking merch shit. What do you think? the costume budget was for this like 27 dollars <laughs> 27 yeah I, I just got some cardboard bring it well i, I have this I have santa this. is so high <laughs> Santa, this hug is making me very uncomfortable. Can you please let me? How would you like to be one of Santa's There's a department store with your name on it. I love the ending because I really don't understand. He's an ordinary and and well young fellow. He usually gets a and on this particular Friday afternoon, Jeff and his pals are discussing a big triple My dad's gonna let me have that car tonight. Oh, <laughs> car, is that super? <laughs> that sounds swell, Jeff, but, well. So Woody decided he'd ask Anne for this first day. He wants to know but he's appreciated. How should he ask appreciated. her? And what if she refused? No, it won't be easy asking for that Appreciate, 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 appreciate,
But sometimes the trick fails. There are many times when you can't eliminate the stimulus. Eliminate the stimulus. Eliminate the stimulus. Eliminate the stimulus. No, you're not in incognito mode. It's everybody's favorite game, phallic title. <laughs> do so so the game's called perfection put the pieces into the slot and make the right connection no sorry have a heart attack racing the slots <laughs> fuck perfection were you talking about the perfection guy recently you said something really uh poignant on I the said, perfection guy oh I, I i said that he looked like the slim jim man's um like, <laughs> less successful brother Oh no, I said he looked like if someone was trying to summon Jake Busey from hell and something went horribly right. <laughs> <laughs> he also looks like if Max Hedrum was my sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> that's pretty good. All right, Thanks, so that's my type five on perfection. That's it. Wow. 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 <laughs> so, um,. The basic premise of the game is you have to turn the movie into a porn title or just something very sexual. So we start with, this is our example problem, and this is um, Field of Dreams. <laughs> Field of Creams. Oh. I gotta have the, the rim shot ready to go. There we go, all right. The rim so the top shot. I'll reveal one. And you guys don't know the titles, by the way. Tell the audience at home you've never seen any of these uh, pictures. I never. loaded them up. Nope. Wait, I have something. Okay, go ahead. If you, if you suck it, you won't go. Okay, okay. Uh, give us our first one, Michael. I'm excited. All right. And away we go. Oh, I mean... I'll give you a hint. I, I, maybe, maybe witch, bitch. Go ahead. I have one. The the buy switch project. Oh, hey. I like that one. Thank you. Finish him. All right. So far, I'm in the lead. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Mr. Smith's hose in Washington. It's over 9,000! Hadouken! Was that Vagina? From Dragon Ball Z? <laughs> Tommy, do you have one? Not for this one. Oh. Moving Everybody's on. favorite. Uh oh. Jazam. Jazam! Oh. Yes! Jazam! Oh. <laughs> I, you can't be Jazam. <laughs> I mean, that's it right there. A fistful of dollars. I'm going to say two fistfuls of dollars. <laughs> two. F <laughs> <laughs> two fists, one dollar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck club. Fuck club. <laughs> wait, wait. That I have might, one. They might have done this. Go ahead. I have one. Uh, Pornhub. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> Keep them going. I don't know this. I just did random ones, by Mid the way. 90s. I wasn't trying to think if it was easy. Mid. Enough. Wanted it to be. Oh, uh, uh, hey. yeah. <laughs> Definitely a gilf status. Okay, right here. it's a it's a milf movie, and it's called Mid Fifties. Hey! Oh. <laughs> oh no, no one wanted to see that. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Gag with Tim. Gag with him. The the picture kind of matches that title, actually. I always want a friend there when I'm gagging, so. <laughs> don't we all? <laughs> gagging with Tim. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a gag. All right, go ahead. 
Well, it's Requiem for a Cream, obviously. Cream. Mm. Ooh. Rectum for a Steam. Hey! Oh. <laughs> what about Erectium for a Dream? <laughs> Erection for a Scream? <laughs> Hmm. Did I stump you? Is that how the? I think that's how the game works. It's like Drew Carey rules. I get a point if I stump you guys. If I can find one, you can't hmm. make into a porn title. Well, the problem is, is the Baba Duke's already so fucking sexy. That's right. It is. It is a turn on. <laughs> Baba Duke. <laughs> the baby Dookie. Oh. Baba Booey. Who are you watching, Tommy? <laughs> Don't kink shame me. <laughs> That's Big right. Hog Day. Hey. <laughs> and uh, the the sequel, Big Hog Gay, when they were more <laughs> inclusive. Gang. I keep having the same orgasm over and over. <laughs> what a problem. Gang Bang Day. Gang Bang right. Day. That's I'm out. Good. And that's oh, Phallic sweet. Titles. Thanks for playing. Somebody's... How do you choose a date? Go! Whose company would you enjoy? Well, one thing you can consider is Yes, he'd enjoy that. Woody thought of Janice and how good looking she was. He'd really have to read to somebody like her. Yes, he'd enjoy that. Except, well, it's too bad Janice always acts so and Yes, he'd enjoy that. Well, perhaps someone who doesn't feel There's Betty. And yet, it just doesn't seem as if she'd be much fun. What about Anne? Yes, he'd enjoy that. She knows how to have a good time, and how to make the fellow with her relax, have fun too. She knows how to have a good time. Yes, that's what a boy likes. He wants to know he's appreciated. Anne would be fun on a date. Yes, he'd enjoy that. Oh, Chuck and I were married, but it didn't matter very much. She knows how to have a good time. Nothing does. Not when you're on it. It's time for everybody's favorite car Uber rideshare themed game show. We didn't give it a name. <laughs> <laughs> well, allow me, Mr. Michael, sir. Welcome to historical rideshare. I am your driver, at least for the given moment, which is right now. Francis Castiglione, and I'm going to be picking up some people around town and driving them around. And this is not Cash Cab, but we're not affiliated with it. I, I have to say that I don't, I don't like. Anyway, let's get started. Well, I got to fix that fucking radio. <laughs> <laughs> All right then. Hello, what's your name back there? Oh, hey, hey, I'm a uh, Scrooge McDuck. <laughs> Scrooge McDuck, you fucking <laughs> And I know what you're thinking, not that Scrooge McDuck, the serial killer. Oh, no, 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 of course not, of course not. No, you're more of the uh, diving into a pool made of gold coins variety sort of stuff. Hey, Is hey, that hey, that's, that, that's a serious thing with us billionaires. At least half oh. of us have our pelvis dislocated. Oh, wow, that's crazy, because Jeff yeah. Bezos has the same problem from diving into blood and bones of his own employees. I heard that, so and I funny. heard that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Mr. McDuck, is there anything yeah. you can tell me about yourself? Where are you heading to today? Oh, I'm I'm headed uh, to the airport. See, I got to get back to my money bin. That's what Your... I call my wife, my money bin. Oh, I was going to say, uh, is she French? Uh, yes. <laughs> wow, that's hot. Muy, muy um... bien, muy bien. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's how they say it there. Donde esta la crepe, you know? <laughs> <laughs> <That's right. laughs> I am love... Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, I was... no, sorry. Go I right was just ahead. saying, I, I love all this scenery right here. We we passed it by at least six times. Excuse that's me. True. Excuse to... me. Oh, Can uh, I get a cab? Oh. Hello? 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 Oh, I, I, didn't see, I didn't see you back there, sir. Uh, what's your name? Uh, my name is not important at the moment. If you could take it to Fifth and Landmark, uh, right now, um, I am an important political figure. Oh, well, of course, but that's where a bunch of union heads and working class people are meeting, Yes, sir. yes, that's, not that's somewhere. right, young man, actually. Uh, the enemy is capitalism. That's right, young man. 
Oh, I would advise you not to look to your right at who you're sitting next to then, sir. <laughs> yeah, <Right> hey, <laughs> I'm part of that 1% you're talking about. That's right, that's right. Uh, you know what? Um, I My got the idea Francis this one day when I was drinking that's milk. between you all. <laughs> Wait, you was drinking milk? That's right. In this economy? That's <laughs> fucked up, dude. Hey. That's 2% hey. milk, right? The ball's in your court, Mr. Politician. <laughs> the two, the top I'm two percent a, of the top. Well, hold on, hold on. Let me finish. If I let me finish, let me finish. If I may, the top. No, Mr. Politician. Hold, Mr. hold Politician, on. Let me finish. You haven't explained. No, please, you please haven't let me finish. Explained your bud you haven't explained the budget, please. Mr. Politician, for your milk. Let me finish. Let me finish. The top two. No, the, this happens every day. This happens every day. The top. 2% of the top 1% of milk drinkers out there, and they're, they're everyday people like you and I, and these people, they drink their milk, and the next thing you know, they're, they're, they're full-on capitalist communists, and that's, that's, that's pretty much the end of the story. <laughs> As they say in France, todos las dias. Muy bien. <laughs> Oh, uh, of course, sir. Uh, let me take you. Uh, where, where do you need to go? Oh, oh of course, the old uh, bridge where people kill themselves. Uh, yeah, I'm right on my way. <laughs> and uh, how's, your, how's, your, how's your day going? How's holiday season going for you? Probably pretty good. <laughs> hey. That has a big ring to it. Oh, tell me all about it. Go ahead. I had the problem. I got trench foot because I got too tired. Tell me all about it. Please clap. <laughs> Steal the moon for your girls? <laughs> Steal the moon. <laughs> Despicable she. <laughs> okay, okay. So you lasso the moon, you lasso the moon, and now you go going to the can't kill yourself. What's the reason? Wait, it can't be just the moon. Oh, on, yeah. cat, I'm your cab driver. You've never met me. Oh, Clarence, uh, Clarence, what was the driver's name? Clarence, oh, I, 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 I'm having a stroke. <laughs> uh, help, I'm in a runaway car. Uh, oh, did you call for oh, a party? Hey, <laughs> you're back, <laughs> or, or, or someone never, new. I'm not, <laughs> what was that? I never left, George. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I guess you know that what? I guess that stroke is hitting me a bit harder than I thought. <laughs> That's right. Did you hear that thing? It's the last thing you're gonna hear, baby. See uh, in heaven. <laughs> uh, it must have been the toaster because I'm smelling toast. <laughs> hey, you know what? We could cut the drive to the bridge short. It sounds like you're halfway there by yourself. Oh, I, I, I see a light. <laughs> it's so warm in heaven. <laughs> it's a, it's very warm in heaven. It's a lot warmer in limbo. Ah, oh, fuck. One, two, take two. Ah, the French champagne. It's vintage dated. So Action, please. Ah, the French poor masson. Ah, like poor masson. Inspired by that same French excellence. It's fermented in the bottle and like the best French champagne, it's vintage, dated. So Cut over that. Action, please. Action, awesome, please. You just do anything? No, it's a, sorry, cut. Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Yes, yes, blood! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Hi, everybody. Welcome to the courtroom of me, Nicholas Cage. Let's get to Judge Jane. Well, uh, Your Honor, I, I brought a case here before you today. Uh, you see, yeah. I, I, I would like to, I'd like to sue that lousy degenerate sitting right over there. Uh, I brought my lawyer here. You can see him. He's very handsome. I just want to make it clear that um, I'm a different person. My name's Mr. Smith. Uh, I, I'm not to be confused with George Bailey, who's next to me, even though our voices do sound kind of similar. I'm George Bailey. I'm not Mr. Smith. That's a different guy. You can tell he's got like a hat on. And that man over there, that man's name is Mr. Potter. First name, Mr. Last name, name Potter. Potter. That's right, George. That's right. I'm an old man and most people hate me, but I don't like them either. So that makes it all even, doesn't it? Wow, Mr. Oh. Potter. I was up for that role. Ah, uh, almost got it, but that little brat Daniel beat me out for it. That's right, Mr. Cage. Look at you. You used to be so cocky. You were going to go out and conquer the world. Well, that's not to the star of Con Air. <laughs> That's right, where I had the most believable accent ever to have. That's right, had. George. Go ahead and laugh. You can't hide in a town like this. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, you did it! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought you proved you've uh, thusly proved me wrong, but you won't win this court case. I want to, for the record, Your Honor, we collaborated on, on that little bit, but we're still we're not we're not good. <laughs> I'll allow it. Well, well, okay. So let, let, allow me to pre present my, my case. So uh, one day I, I'm in my bank having a wonder, a good day, and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm in my bank, you know, I got all my money, and then and the next thing I know, uh, some wheelchair brown brick runs off of all of it, metaphorically. Now you and listen, that... you, you know just as well as I do, I run practically everything in this town but the Bailey Building and Loan. You know also that for a number of years I've been trying to get control of it, or kill it. Uh, uh, I'll tell you what I've been trying to get control of, the Declaration of Independence. It's a tough thing to get control of yourself, <laughs> but it will be mine. Objection, Your Honor! I want to own that as well. Objection! That is not a book of secrets! Ob objection! Overrule! You tell him! Uh, okay. I, I can't handle both of these buffoons. Beep, 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 beep. Now, news from around the globe. They We're going to watch a PSA what together. don't know... On reading you. the label, but in the next few minutes, we will demonstrate that what you don't read in 1963. can harm or even kill you. <laughs> Mr. Willis, that's when Walt Disney was alive. What? The Fuck finish you. from a piece uh, of furniture. <laughs> that's <laughs> not true. Oh, so let's see. This man—it looks like he's making some sort of fatal mistake. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my TikTok. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can smoke a cigarette and do paint thinner at the same time. Check me out. <laughs> See, the, the cool thing about the word flammable is that it doesn't mean what you think it does. <laughs> or does it? Oh it no, this would never happen with a camel cigarette. On the paint Camels, can. get them today. It warned <laughs> that the Hello, I'm Rod Sterling and welcome to 1920's A Thousand Ways to Die. <laughs> <laughs> Read the Bible and live. I mean, label. <laughs> Read the label and biv. <laughs> you know what? I did hear a rumor about this that only I could prevent day. forest fires, but I just keep fucking starting. Words like danger, warning. Oh, let's see. Ooh, okay. Uh, uh, not buying. This is what happens when you shop at Sprouts. Not 50 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, this tastes like shaving cream. <laughs> oh, I guess I didn't read the label. I'm sorry. I thought it was the dinosaur. I'm bringing a lion. You can't do that. You can't uh, uh, breed life out of whipped cream. <laughs> Ever since mom started just pouring whipped cream. Is he drinking life? Lighter fluid? What's going on there? Extremely flammable. 
Even more flammable than the last one. Let's give it a go. Huh? Uh, huh? Oh, it's flammable. That means you can Dad, put flames on it. Dad, do you mind if I range, use your paint thinner? Of course, and I told you, call me Heat Miser. <laughs> <laughs> Here is a popular item in most homes, hairspray. Okay, so that's, that's what we call a match cut, when uh, the two cuts have, have nothing to do with each other. <laughs> there is a oh, why are all these warning. people burning to death? Seems like a real problem. Newport is really going at it with these with these advertisements. <laughs> oh, I know this. This is from the Scooby-Doo movie. Yeah, that lady should not have sprayed Crisco in her hair. All right, now that I poured charcoal in here, let me light up a cigarette. They can cause hmm. accidents. Well, before oh, I, I do... <laughs> Never ask. Oh, I do. Let me. There we go. Acetine, great turpentine, benzene, all the ingredients for burning to death. <laughs> oh, no. A crude stew advertisement attacked. <laughs> oh, man. It's like we're at the theater. Whoa. Well, so. Let me, uh... Oh, go ahead. Set the scene. Um, I believe. Um, our press secretary, Kyle Ibarloza, is going to introduce the president, even though he's literally standing right there. Hello, uh, my name is Kyle Ibarloza. I'm your sixth press secretary. Uh, I'm very happy to be here. You all look really mad. Um, well, Mr. The, the president is here and he's going to take questions, but as per usual, you all know the rules. Please limit your questions to um, things the president can answer. Uh, um, Mr. So, Barloza, are we allowed to ask any questions related to politics, the election, or anything at all? I, I'm glad you asked that. Uh, and, and what newspaper do you work for? Um, the Daily Steamer. Oh, I read that reputable, one. Reputable, reputable. Uh, the, the, the scratch and sniff one. Yeah. Yes, uh, yes, sir. No, no politics, no, no nothing, no, let's just like, let, you know, the school dodgeball rules, everybody has fun and no one gets hurt, just like dodgeball at school. Uh, so let's go ahead and start taking questions, Mr. President, whenever you're ready. Mr. President, Mr. President. Yes, uh, 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 Tommy uh, from the uh, Goblin Gazette. Uh, Hillary Duff says the Lizzie McGuire reboot is officially dead. How long do you think Billy Ray Cyrus cried? Oh. Mr. President, Mr. President, I have a question. Uh, Kyle from the from the Green Goblin Gazette. Um, <laughs> my. Oh, thank you, thank you. We just started a podcast on Patreon. Uh, Mr. President, where do you stand on the whole, a, as a cast member involved, of course, you know, you have personal lived experience. Um, where do you stand on the whole sticky bandits versus wet bandits debate? What is their legacy? <laughs> hey hold on hold on a second pause i, I go ahead and uh we're gonna dang it it's that we can't hear julian on the, the thing my my wife the the moderator of the thing just said that the julian thing just popped out so this is do 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 I'm gonna I'm uh, gonna we, patch you in through the window capture. It's just gonna take just a second. Beep 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 beep. We we are getting a live update here. Um, this is uh, Kyle from uh, the news, and uh, we have a live <laughs> update here from our president, Donald Jr. Trump. And I'm gonna add him one more time, and this should fucking work. Hopefully, let's test it. <laughs> <laughs> Live on Talkies, the show that never has mistakes. 
Hey, you know, we're, we're 0 for 1 right now. That's pretty good. Mr. Mr. President, Mr. President, can you hear us? Yes, I can hear you just fine. Am I coming Mr. in Mr. clear? Mr. One, two, skippity do. Can you hear us? Flippy flabby, dooby dabby. I'm getting an audio level, so I think we're back to normal, Mr. President. I apologize about that, sir. Fantastic. Um, you, know who, you know what? I believe it was Hillary. Hillary was up to no good, up to road tricks, trying to steal Christmas. She's trying to steal Christmas with her dog, Bill. <laughs> Mr. President, I have a question. Yes. Do you, do you remember when Rock was young and me and Susie had so much fun? I, I do. I'm sorry, you're the president. Finish, finish your question. Go ahead and finish your question. When, uh, when the other kids were rocking down the block, um, what did you want to do about the war in Iraq? <laughs> 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 the war in Iraq. Listen, uh, all I wanted was some socks. But then uh, Mr. President, they were too Mr. expensive president, it's, because it's, they were Mr. around Secretary. the block. <laughs> Mr. President, to press secretary, you know the rules. You know the rules. You can't. You can't answer that. Uh, someone get that 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 get handsome Italian out man out of here. Get him out of here. Get, get him out. out. Go ahead, shoo him out. Get the broom. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. President. <laughs> Mr. President. Mr. President. Mr. President. Yes. Yes, you. Yes. Uh, the populace wants to know what is your favorite Will Smith movie. You know Will Smith. Good. Good guy. One of the good ones. You know what I mean. <laughs> He is so many great films, so many great appearances in cinema. If I had to pick a good movie, it'd be probably Wild Wild West. I really just identify with the villain. Just a guy with no legs to stand on. I don't know what it is, but it just seems like an up, upright guy to me. Mr. President, uh, excuse me. Uh, the... Excuse me, if oh. I may, young man. Excuse me. If I may, if I may, young man, excuse me. Yes, Whoa. you, you yes. the one who just came out of the time machine. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's me. Um, I just, uh, since, since we're from about the same era of time, I was just wondering um, which is your favorite of the uh, Jimmy Stewart movies, the James Stewart films? Which one do you like um, the most? Thank I, you, sir. I love the one where, where is. Where this guy is, this guy is bamboozled oh my God, by a wealthy individual, and beautiful. The individual beautiful. never gets caught. I love it. It's a it's a true hero story. I stop the movie as soon as he plops down into the river. I stop it right after that because I'm like, job well done. The guy did what he said he was going to do. He took the money and he ran. He ran it's far away. Sir, sir, if I, if I may just say one more thing, since I have the opportunity and I have the microphone in front of me, I just want to say that your performance in Home Alone 2 was stellar. It got completely overlooked for the Oscar, and I do believe you deserve a nod. So I'm When they edit me out, here's the thing. When they edit me out of those movies now, they don't realize just how much their ratings go down. Nobody's watching Home Alone 2 Lost in New York anymore. Nobody's watching anymore. Everyone refuses my annexation of the moon for my wife. <laughs> Listen, the moon is big. It's round. It's up there in the sky somewhere. We're going to find it. Those are we do. true things. We're going we're gonna to find <laughs> it. <laughs> and when we do, we're going to find its accomplices in all of this science mumbo-jumbo nonsense. We're going to bring them to justice. Jupiter, my anus. <laughs> Sunders, <laughs> plot on, and this and that big old that big old bright one that keeps on hurting my eyes every time I look at it. One of these days I will win this steering contest. No, no sir, I just I just want to say uh, thank you for being here, Mr. President, and I uh, look forward to uh, talking to you again. Thank Fantastic. I will not talk to anyone else for a matter of five months. <laughs> All right, Mr. President, let's get you out of here. Oh, God, you're so moist. It's time for my nap. Thank you for joining us on Talkies. Bye, everyone.
Have a good night. Merry Christmas. And remember. Yep. Uh, uh, Kyle, are you frozen? <laughs> <laughs> good night, everybody. And thank good you. Night,